Hey guys, this is Mandy with Retrofix Games. I'm here to open another box. Today we're going to open up Commander Legends. I've got my red mana playmat here for good luck. Got Frederick here helping me open the box so we can do things right, hopefully, get the good stuff. Commander Legends is now officially out of print. I believe that people have probably seen some articles talking about new Commander Legends planned for later on this year. Um, hopefully we see some really cool, exciting things in there. Hopefully we see some really great reprints and, but you know, I like reprints, but sometimes I feel like people put way too much stock into reprints. Um, I'm more interested in new cards, new cards, new things. So there's a lot of value in this. So hopefully we get some of that. Um, let's go ahead and get going. Let's see here. Oh, really? We're going to start with a Jeweled Lotus? We're starting with a Jeweled Lotus, guys. Um, so, yeah. The box just started, and it's already a banger. That's awesome. And we've got, we've got Jared here and our foil etched Ravo Soul Tender. I really like etched foils. I know a lot of people have opinions about them, and I understand, but... I personally find the foiled etches very nice. I like how they look. I think they have this really interesting look to them, the way that the etch makes the foil look. And you know, added benefit, you don't get Pringles when you've got foil etches. So there's that always, ooh, preordain. So there's that to look forward to. Um, so we kind of just started off really strong here with a jeweled lotus on the top. So um, hopefully it's, a slow decline, not like all the way downhill from here, but we'll see. Got Nevinrol, Urborg Tyrant. Obviously this is a set designed for Commander, so we'll put foils up here and etches here, so we have different piles there. And of course the Prismatic Piper that we see all the time. Here you go over here. All right, and it's been a long time since I've opened Legends probably been, man, I don't think I've opened any Legends packs since last year sometime. So probably been about six months since I've actually opened. And we've got a Commander's Plate for our next Mythic. That's very solid. We've got Nimrus, Unus Trickster. And Quain, Itinerant Meddler. Look at that. A Mythic and two Rares. That's a good pack. We've got our Eyeblight Assassin. I don't know if Eyebly Assassin has ever had another art. I know I've seen it in other sets before, but I don't remember any art except that art. Um, so that's another thing I'd like to see. If they are going to do reprints in the next Legends, I would like to see new art. New art, please. Elvish Visionary. You know, it's not always about those big hit cards. Sometimes it's about the smaller smaller ones. We got Blasphemous Act. I like that card. Got Amareth the Lustrous. Got to have them dragons. And Mindless Automaton Foil. Um, so far, the foils are coming out of the packs pretty nice and flat. Uh, we'll see what happens over time. I mean, we'll see if they can, if they begin to Pringle live on screen or if we have some time before they start to do their famous Pringling. Path of Ancestry, it's a great common card. Cast Down, I remember that card, that's a good card. Oh yes, Rejuvenating Springs. Land Cycle in this set is very good. So I'm happy to see a Rejuvenating Springs. We've got Siani, Eye of the Storm, Abomination of Land of War, and Elisa Lana Bowmaster. Sweet. Oh my gosh. So, if you haven't been in the shop for a while, we have done some changes. The biggest being that we now have all of our cards, our glass case cards included, on our website. You do have to go to our actual website, retrofixgames.com, in order to see them. We have them set up in a way so that the internet at large shouldn't be able to buy us out completely. Yes, Hole Breacher, another good card. 
Man, I'm feeling good about this box. This box is nice. I like this box a lot. We've got Gore Moldrak. Ah, Jessica Thrice Reborn in Extended Art Foil or Borderless. I don't know. They keep going back and forth on that, and whatever I say is definitely the wrong one. It's always the opposite. So if I said it's extended art, it's probably borderless. Oh, wait. She's a mythic, so she's going to go over here. Oh, wait, no. Let's put her up here. We got foil mythics, normal mythics. But, yes. So if you are local and you want to see what we've got, including what we've got in the store, go ahead and go to our website, retrofixgames.com, and you can see all the cards we have. Oh, Slaughter the Strong. It's always weird when cards that were rare get downgraded. Training Center. I like that card. Another land. Doing pretty good on these lands. Emoti. Radiant Sarah Angel and a Rip Scale Predator. Oh, we've got the Monarch. Will we get the Queen, though? Maybe. Maybe we'll see her in this box. I don't know. I'm pretty happy with this box already. We've got two lands. We've got Jeweled Lotus. So, I mean... Hopefully we see a mana drain. That'd be nice. Certainly not going to complain about a mana drain. Wheel of Misfortune. Not to be confused with the much superior Wheel of Fortune. Iona's Judgment. Let's see. Moss Diamond. I do like these artifacts that they did. The diamonds. They're just very usable. Let's see, Volcanic Dragon, Ordeal, Amphin Mutineer. I got a Sengir, the Dark Baron, and a Prying Eyes. Where? There we go. All right. Of course, there's force right now. What am I thinking about? No. Oh, not in this set. I'm getting my sets confused. As I said, I've not opened it in a while. So I'm getting all my cards confused together. Oh, we've got a quarter bounty. That's pretty good. Not a bad card to have. Miara and Jury Master of the Review and a Workshop Assistant. So far, I only see we've gotten the one etch. Maybe, maybe a couple more etches. I'd like to see some more etches. Doom Traveler. I mean, some of these cards I look at and I'm like, man, I remember you. Hero's Blade. Got Slash the Ranks here for our rare. A Tormod the Desecrator and Kangi Sky Warden and a Doomed Traveler foil. Yeah. Man, I forgot. How, like full these packs are. They just have a lot more cards than a regular pack. So they're a little bulkier when you're opening them. Burning Anger, Imperious Perfect, and a Thought Vessel. And a Thought Vessel, very good card. Plague Reaver, Prava of the Steel Legend, and Gen Arkham Weaver. And then here we go. I was saying we didn't have any more etches, and here is an etched Armix Filigree Thrasher. I really do like those etches. Although, I definitely would say that on that card specifically, because of the color scheme, it looks a little washed out. But, you know, I like the concept of etches. I think they look cool. I know some people have had issues actually telling the difference. Um, I think it's pretty obvious, but it's probably a lighting thing. So we got the War Room and a normal Armix Filigree Thrasher. We've got Malcolm and a Jalum Tone, and there's the Prismatic. Piper again. I can't quite remember what, oh, a partner. There we go. That's right. I forgot about partner. I don't often play um, multiplayer formats for magic, so I forget about those kinds of mechanics. Got Horizon Stone. Just really like that art. That's some pretty interesting art. Nadir Agent of the Duskanel. The Lease Reverent Medium. Um, I don't know how good this card is, but I like that name, Felice. The Lease is nice to say. What? Man, big packs. Ancestral Blade. The Seer Seer. Yes, the Seer Seer's solid, solid card. 
I once tried to build a, like a Dark Soul Sisters. Um, you know, oh, three visits. Three visits is a good card to see. Got a Sweet Gum, Recluse, Togo, Tuya, and a Defiant Salvager. Tried to build a Dark Soul Sisters. Didn't go well. Uh, there's a reason I play red. It's not just because I like to play fast. It's also because I don't have the patience nor the time to devote to very complicated trigger heavy decks. And I quickly discovered that Soul Sisters was beyond my capability to play because I just wasn't gonna put in the time to really learn how to manage all those triggers. That Valve Torment. Ooh, Soul of Eternity. Elena Kessig, was it Kessig Trapper? Nostro and a Lightning Rig Crew foil. Another Prismatic Piper. Spring is here. My allergies are acting up, but that's okay because it means it's gonna get warmer. I'm a tropical person, so I prefer the warmer weather, even if, ooh, Reclamation Sage, I like that card a lot. And Brute Weaver Druid, Slurk. This looks like a Slurk. I mean, come on, what else would you call that thing? Caleth, Sunmane, familiar? Yes, and a Foil Commander Sphere. Now, obviously this is not a super valuable card, but I don't know of a Commander deck that doesn't have Commander Sphere in it, so that's cool to see in Foil because I mean, people, like to, people like to pimp out their decks. And pimping out means getting them Foils. Flesh bag, command tower. Nice to see command towers, even though, you know, you'd think with them being like so commonly printed now, they would be really easy to get, but you no, know, we always seem to sell out of them. They're very interesting that way. Like everybody needs them, at least one in every single deck. Got a Nightshade Harvester, Elisa, Shroud of Dusk, a Yurlock of Scorch Thrash. Cool. A Kite Sail Skirmisher, so. Triple rare pack. We're our last third here. A reminder, if there's any singles here that you see that you're interested in or you just want to check out what we've got, you can check us out at retrofixgames.com and see what we've got going on for singles there. We also do singles for other card games. It's not just Magic. We've got Yu-Gi-Oh! and a little bit of Pokemon. Ooh, there's a third Mythic there. I got a Soul Fire Eruption. Radiant Sarah Angel. Yes! Double Mythic pack! Kamal Heart of Krosa. Now, I don't think these are like super exciting mythics, but it always feels good to get a double mythic, so I will take it. Let's see. Fire Diamond. I feel like we've gotten just about all the diamonds now. Jessica's Will. Yes, now that, that's a hit. That's a really good card to have in this. Super glad we pulled one of these. Just a good card, hard to keep in stock. People like using it. Dargo the Shipwrecker, and we've got an exquisite Huntmaster foil. We're coming down, we've got the last few packs here. Let's see if we can get something else really crazy. I'm hoping so. I kind of feel like we opened very, very strong at the beginning and then it's like, you know, just, Falling down now. Mnemonic Deluge, that's pretty good. So we went from only having two Mythics in the first two thirds of the box and we're up to five, which is pretty normal. Ghost of Ramirez, Hamza, and a Daring Saboteur, another card that was downgraded from rare to uncommon. I believe that one was Ixalan, I wanna say. She's on a ship, so I'm gonna guess Ixalan. Probably wrong. Let me know in the comments how wrong I am. I'm sure you will. Ambush Viper. All right. Burnished Heart. You know, I remember when this first came out in the original Theros, and I thought, okay. And then Commander really started to pick up, and I don't quite know exactly what happened, but I do know that something changed in the meta, and all of a sudden people are like, I need Burnished Hearts. I was like, okay, I guess so. Magus of the Order. Ictekic, Brinolin, and a Dragon Egg. Oh, eggs. Eggs, eggs. People still build eggs. Is eggs still a troll deck? 
Oh my gosh. Is this pack trolling me? Answer, yes. There we go. I got it. Whoop. All right. See here, second to the last pack here, Rupture Spire. I just like these land, that land cycle. Those, these like common lands, they're just nice. Nice to have. Rakshasa Debaser, a Faultus Shadow Cat, and Averna the Chaos Bloom. And then a nice Command Tower foil. Not super expensive, but again, nice to see. Nice to have so somebody can pimp out their deck, or one of them, one of their many commander decks. I'm sure most people have multiples. Final pack, guys. I think, I think we kind of tapped out at the very beginning there. I mean, if you, if you didn't get past that, I don't blame you. <laughs> but hopefully, hopefully there's something wrong, or wrong, something else. Wrong turn, when you're speaking and you start to read the card name. Alharu. Around me, and then we've got a foil. Our foil rare is the Dawn Glade Regent here. So, I mean, not terrible. I've got Jeweled Lotus, Commander's Plate, Soulfire, Eruption, Kamal, Mnemonic Deluge, Ajuska Thrice, and then a uh, Rabo Soul Tender for our Mythics. Only got two etched foils here, but you know, I like the etches that we got. Those are words. I can use words. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and have a good night.